guys know that that moment in time when you sleep and you know that you don't have to get up and like really do anything it's not you know imperative that you get up at a certain hour for work or whatever well yeah I did that I slept in felt good thank you um, and then I forgot oh no Supposed to meet Travis at like nine o'clock this morning so that I could get that uh, uh, tobacco pipe from him for the Hugh Hefner tombstone. It's like almost noon now, and I'm like, no. Ugh. And I have to go to the shop and scrap. I forgot about that, and I forgot that I have to like fab up the whole prop car today, or at least attempt to, because uh, Jeff is coming tomorrow to get his welder. So it's like all of a sudden I go from relaxed and slept in to like, oh my gosh, I got so much to do. So anyway, um, unfortunately Travis will not be coming over for tombstone building or prop car building for that matter tonight because he is in the process of moving. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Crazy stuff. Yeah, and my truck, it's so funny. Okay, so it's raining, right? And you guys have seen the Dukes of Hazard. Oh my gosh, I'm actually wearing the shirt too. Hey, uh, my my truck is like totally starting to look like Jesse Duke's truck, like all moss all over it and, and everything. So maybe I can get some like painting ideas from just the moss on the truck. Oh, oh, and um, Ferrari Killer. Don't get mad. I'm not wearing your hat because I don't want to get it dirty. I've got like two snap-on hats. One for like not getting dirty, and one like grease ball. So this is the grease ball hat. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking and drive. Boo boo face. <laughs> boo boo face. Um, Travis is like gonna be gone for a while and then he's moving so it like really sucks. But, um, because he put it out there on the vlog. I think you're zoomed in. Am I? Oh my gosh. Sorry, big head. Anyway. <laughs> I have to remember the company to, uh, I, anyway. <laughs> okay, enough of me. It's, it's on Travis. What you guys and he's all <laughs> talking about? Um, let's see. So, uh, Josh Rockstar said that you should start your own vlog. And that you're a character. Ah, uh, my own vlog. I think that would be dangerous considering my alcohol consumption. <laughs> um, what else? Um, shoot, shoot. I, I'm, I'm trying to find the comments that you guys commented about Travis so that he could, like, answer them. And it's not working because I'm, like, under the gun right now. What? It's what editing's for. Yes. And the thank God one... for editing or you would all hate me. Everyone. <laughs> I know I'm going to miss somebody. Um, oh, okay. Uh, ABC Noise 2 said... Hold on, I'm glad you went you correct yourself. Monster Mud. Travis is out of control. I can only imagine what you edit. <laughs> that goes back to what you were just yeah. saying. <laughs> Travis, you are just like me. We both have a congenital defect. We were born without a filter. Love you, Travis. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Sad, but true. So, anyway, guys. Say hi, Travis. Say bye, Travis. Bye, guys. Thanks for the comments. <laughs> I love you all. <laughs> All right, guys. Hopefully, the next thing that you're going to see is like me squishing something at the shop. <laughs> Fun stuff. Hey, guys, look. I found something to squish. Look over there. No, right over there. Look over there. Stop looking at me. Look over there. Seriously? Come on. There you go. Okay. I'm such a dork sometimes. Have you noticed that? Anyway, all right. Chair versus automotive hoist with a big-ass van on it. All right, so here we go. In three, two, one. Hey, look at that. We have a lounge chair now. <laughs> Because for me, honestly, I don't know what kind of pipe Hugh Hefner used. So unless I look it up, I don't really know. So I mean, this to me looks like something. So unless you like totally know, it, I think it will look just fine. 
So, something kind of like this. Because this would look weird. And that would look weird. Just a little bit at an angle. Right there. But, um, I'm going to save that for... <laughs> I'm gonna save it for a rainy day. Well, no, that would be today. Because it is raining, I have to head out to the prop car and uh, arc weld in the rain. Yeah. Sounds like a great idea, doesn't it? You've got the roof, you've got down below. The forecasters that ride in the track, obviously that's where the majority of the weight is. So I don't want to push from up above, it'd be easier to push from down below. Either people pushing or when I get the pneumatics done on it next year. So with that said, I want to take a support bar from this wheel well all the way over to that wheel well. The only unfortunate thing is, is I have to get this disgusting sound insulation. I mean, look at this stuff. It just sticks to you. Real nasty stuff. But I have to get that up so that I can weld to it or else it's gonna like be messy and not weld and burn and it's kinda of like tar paper is what it is. Another blotty soot back. Anyway, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do that right now. So tell me guys, <laughs> it's been a while since you've seen this, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, fire. Uh, the whole, I told you you can't say that anymore. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, liar, liar, pants on. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. All right, so guys, I have, or excuse me, aliens, guys, peeps. What up? So I've got the first piece cut. And it, oh my gosh, look at that. It actually fits. First piece cut, push bar. The first bar is in, and I'm only going to use one, I think. Um, but I want to stabilize it for the pressure it's going to have in the center of it. And the easiest way to do that, because this metal, I, I was blowing holes in it. It's extremely thin. So that's also the other reason why I want to do this. So I've taken scrap from this right here that has the legs on it. This is from the, uh, from the workout machine that I tore apart that used to be right over here. You guys remember that, right? Okay. And what I'm going to do with this is basically... Put it like this. Okay, so the first brace is cut and welded. And the second brace is now welded into place. Oh yeah! So I'm gonna call this one done for right now. The, the holes back there, I can drill at a later date. I gotta get the welder back tomorrow. So I'm gonna concentrate now on the uprights. Take a look at this though. This is what happens when you arc weld without like full gloves on. I mean, I've got, I've got the, the short gloves right there. <laughs> Ow. All right, guys, so, uh, these weren't welded all the way around, so I went and rounded around the outside, around the outside. Okay, I know. For those of you who are not into wrap, which I'm really not, that probably didn't make any sense. It's just me being weird. This one over here is done. It is all welded in and sturdy like a Chevy truck like a rock wow and I've got sleep I got sleep today so I can't blame it on sleep deprivation can I no so here I am welding okay and I just got through this is a piece I was welding right here it took me like maybe three minutes to go around the outside there we are at the words again and then I take off the helmet and everything and I look around and it's like oh my god it got like really dark really quick I think we're going to get rained on. <laughs> Come on, focus, 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 get the lighting right. And what's worse than arc welding in the rain? Arc welding in the rain with a thunderstorm when I've got like a metal canopy above me. 
the things I do for Halloween, I tell you what. The trees are blowing. Yep, wind's kicking up. Wow, we're gonna get hit. Crap. Okay, the weather never really hit. That was about as worst, or what you saw was about as bad as it got. One thing that's really tripping me out right now is that the weather we're having right now is indicative of the weather that we have in October. So I think that's one reason like my internal instincts is like, dude, you're behind. You need to get stuff done now. Just to give you guys a touch of how much this is lighting up the neighborhood, watch this. Pretty cool, huh? And just like that, the prop car supports for now, for this year, are done. And I know it's gonna be hard to see, I will do my best to show you guys that I decided to take a one of those flat bars and just attach it to the side. Welded it up on both sides. One of the reasons why I chose to do that is number one, it's just gonna be for support for going um, back. So it's not Sorry, so it's not a huge uh, deal as far as uh, having a tube for support. And it started raining, and I didn't want to have to cut anything anymore, blah, 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 so I just welded it up. And I got the other one on the other side, too. So this piece right here is done. You can stand on it. You can kick it. It ain't going anywhere. And then, of course, you've seen that one in there. And that bar and this bar are the same height. Now, I'm sure I'm going to have to make modifications uh, next year when I do the pneumatics on it. But uh, for right now, it's done. Back for my birthday in March, somebody, can't remember who it was, asked me what I wanted for my birthday. And I responded with, I want the book called A Woggle of Witches. This is a book that is that, that means a lot to me. I never got it. But uh, the other night, uh, Dionysi12 and I were talking, and I just happened to stumble through what somebody else has written about the book. And I think that this puts my whole uh, haunt origins and my love for Halloween fully into perspective. So let's set the mood. The name of the book is A Woggle of Witches by Adrian Adams. Let me share a memory of grade school that I think created my fascination with the Halloween season. When I was in first grade, we were given time to go to the library and look for books that interested us. There were all kinds of books, from cowboys out in the west to men going into space. One particular day, as I was walking down an aisle of books, looking for one that could hold my attention for longer than a minute, I found a thin book with a tree on the cover and witches playing on the tree. I grabbed the book not knowing what to expect. I sat at a reading table and took a moment to look at the cover and then I slowly opened up to the first page. I dived into a world of witches that feasted on bat stew, flew around the moon on their broomsticks, were frightened by children in Halloween costumes, and then returned to the safety of the forest to sleep. This book did not have many words, but the pictures let me use my imagination to create their world. This book is what sparked my love for Halloween, and I hope to continue the tradition for as long as possible. Special thanks to Adrian Adams. Happy haunting, everyone. So, oh my gosh, this like just says everything. So, very awesome thing, and I just thought that I'd share that with you guys, and uh, because I stumbled across it. So let's get down to business, shall we? First thing. Last night for the 200th video subscriber contest thing, I accidentally cut out of the video editing, go figure, uh, the deadline for the contest. So I did the video yesterday, but I thought it'd be more interesting to have the contest deadline on the 24th, which is Sunday. Why, do you ask? Because Sunday, and I've double-checked it now, uh, Sunday marks the day of 99 days till Halloween. So I figured that would be fitting. Email. 
Um, okay, since I'm at that point, uh, thank you for subscribing. And I think it's Christopher25, but it's Chris25 Topher. So, thank you. I appreciate it. I've noticed that a lot of people, when you put on the title of a vlog, you know, contest, they'll watch it. They'll do what it takes, and they may or may not watch the rest of the videos. That's where you guys have an added benefit right now, because I am going to give each person that has, um, you know, liked, favorited, and commented on the video an extra bonus point if you go and link the 200th the video, for, the vlog from yesterday, the 200th um, uh, subscriber contest video. Link that to your Facebook account. I'll give one extra entry into the contest. So you have a possibility of six. So really cool stuff. And I do appreciate everybody, and I can't say it enough, and I probably say it too much. I've been told to shut up about that. But, you know, you got to give thanks for thanks for due. Anyway, guys, out of here. Happy haunting. See you tomorrow. That's some bad hat, Harry.